911, where is your emergency? Please, please help us. Our bus is hit and some of our friends are hurt really bad. Okay, all right, There is a down. school bus accident in my front yard. We need EMS at that scene. We do have... The driver is injured, and we do have the students. people running everywhere, and people just hiding. Is anyone hurt? Uh, it sounds like it. Do you know if there's children on the bus? There's all kinds of kids everywhere, yes. So it's like middle school kids. All I know is it's a major accident. As you just heard, a normal trip to school can turn tragic in a split second. Today we're going to discuss some things you can do to ensure that everyone on the bus enjoys a safe ride to and from school. Following these simple rules can mean the difference between life and death. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the history of the school bus. The school bus has been around since the 1600s. In the United States, the first known school bus came around 1812. In 1812 the horse-drawn bus made its appearance in the United States. It was a cross between a carriage and a stagecoach. People even rode on the roofs of these early buses. It was also at this time that the bus got its name. Derived from a Latin term, omnibus, meaning, for all. In the 1830s, steam engine powered buses began to operate. In the same time period came the electric trolley bus. These traveled by the use of overhead cables. Around 1895, the first internal combustion engine bus was invented. Today, buses have developed into a safe, affordable, and convenient way to travel. Now, let's take a look at school bus safety. 480,000 school buses carry 25 million children, more than half of America's school children, each day, making the school bus industry the largest form of mass transit in the United States. School buses are the safest form of transportation on the road today, and by following these tips you can help to ensure every student's safety. Leave plenty of time to safely get to the bus stop. Stay alert and avoid listening to music, texting or playing video games while walking to the stop and waiting for the bus. Make sure you stay away from the street and follow all traffic safety rules. You should always arrive at your bus stop at least 5 minutes before your scheduled pickup time. Line up away from the street as the bus approaches. Be aware of the danger zones around the outside of the bus. You should never walk behind any bus, and always walk at least 10 feet away from all sides of the bus so the driver can see you at all times. When the bus arrives, wait for it to come to a complete stop before you approach. It's also important to do this when you're exiting the bus. Look both ways and make sure all traffic has come to a complete stop before approaching the bus or crossing the street. Wait for the driver to signal you before crossing in front of the bus. Make sure you make eye contact with the driver while crossing in front of the bus. Always use the handrail, find a seat, and sit down immediately. Be courteous and respectful to your driver. Talk and laugh quietly with friends but do not yell. Make sure to keep your head, arms and any papers inside the bus at all times. If you drop something around or under the bus, never go after it until your driver has told you it is safe to do so. Never eat or drink on the bus as this can be a choking hazard in addition to making the bus a mess in the event you should spill something. Never throw objects in or out of the bus. Not only is this dangerous, but it can be very distracting for the bus driver. Don't speak loudly or make loud noises that could distract the driver. Stay in your seat at all times while the bus is in motion. Keep aisles clear of books and bags. You should keep bags and backpacks on your lap. Get your belongings together before reaching your stop. This will prevent the bus driver holding up drivers that are stopped waiting for you. Wait for the bus to stop completely before getting up from your seat. Use the handrail when exiting. If you have to cross in front of the bus, first walk at least 10 feet ahead until you can see the driver, and the driver can see you. Although drivers are required by law to stop for a school bus when it's loading or unloading passengers, they often don't. You should never rely on them to do so. Be aware, be alert, and be safe.